All right, so with me, my empress be my main woman, like my queen. You understand? The one that was, uh, that basically was the manager of all the other women. You know what I'm saying? She would come in and be, you know, the female me, basically. And um, my idea of dynasty would be, this is the family structure. I have me, my wives, and then I can keep my bloodline. So this is this is how it goes, so you, so you understand. My, my queen, I have my queen, and then I have my wives. And now with my wives and my queen, I could build my bloodline. So back in the day, back in the day, um, so say if my queen, my children with my queen and my children with my wives would be, they made it, made it together so that I could keep my bloodline, keep the information, can keep the information in the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? So it's just dynasty, it's just keeping the bloodline. You feel me? Like people don't understand it because it's royal shit. There you go. Everything I fucking love. God be my witness. Our law in front of me this day. On oh, my daughter. I love my daughter with all my heart. I never been tested positive for HIV. I never had herpes. Ever, nigga. Ever, nigga. Ever. Did I have did I have fucking STDs back in the day? Hell yeah. Every club, nigga, we had all kind of STDs back in the day. When the clinics was out there. We used to go to the clinics every day and get motherfucking penicillin and fucking drink water and the, nigga that's the truth i'm being honest with you yeah come the here. homosexual video like the video with the white dude i was me bro like i'm gonna just tell you right now it was me you know and um that's just a part of my life where i was just doing anything you know what i'm saying it's wild shit i was doing crazy shit for money so that was me in the homosexual video man did y'all hear me did you want to clip that oh he admitted it that was me, bro. That was a point in my life where I did a lot of homosexual acts. You know what I'm saying? Um, for money. I'm not a homosexual. That's just the truth. But it was a hustle for me, and I did it. Um, to be honest, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to reveal everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. That was me in the video, in the porn video. And at one time, that's who I was, and I evolved from that. And um, I tried to be gay at once, like I really wanted to be. You want to? You want to say anything about all of a sudden? Talk right now. <laughs> when are you going to talk? When you on your live later? I don't want to talk right now. You want to talk later? What's wrong? Nothing. That's not honest. He said y'all was just so happy one minute, and then y'all ready to go. I mean, I'm. I'm in support of whatever is most most conducive for you. I, I don't. I mean, don't make it a sad thing if you saying that this is what you want to do. You want to go, then then go. Don't be. be you don't want me to go down and expose the serenity side to what happened in her experience with the nature boy and all the things that he said and done to her. But you know what? I'm going to show you and them over at Carbonation. What a real person that uh, with morals and principles truly act like and respond about you. Everybody that you thought were your friends, everybody that you thought was your lover, I was there and I supported you. And I didn't care what no one said. I turned my back on my own family because I supported who you were regardless if you supported me. Right? I remember, I was the girl that nobody wanted. I was always your second wife, but I always supported you. I, I understood the mission when you were trying to push every woman to be polygamous. And even now, you can't find a woman that will be polygamous and give you multiple wives. You, were, you remember that. I, I supported that. And I hope y'all do the same. Because you do have a message to give people if they open their hearts and listen. I just got tired. After the whole situation with you lying on me about having HIV and AIDS, I just couldn't do it anymore. 
And that is the truth, because we said it on camera, that you went behind my back and you told somebody that I had HIV. And then you try to justify why you said it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right, boss, man. They're going to keep dissing us. It happens. Like, if, if it's been for me to go back, I'm going to go back, but I'm still going to proclaim the kingdom. I'm still going to do the work. I'm still going to do what I'm here to do. It doesn't even matter. Man, we got so much to talk about. How you been? You know how I've been. I'm the same journey, the same path. I'm the same knowledge, the same thing. I haven't broken it. I haven't left it. Still on the same. And um, somebody sent me your live. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Rambo's live. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, so Serenity is coming back. But she never left. She never left. But I want to talk about you. I want to talk about you and eating meat. And yeah. getting off the path. And so without why using other people, without using the... The only reason veganism exists is because civilization exists. Civilization exists because slavery existed. And slavery, I mean, if you want to go down that route, but that's the trajectory that things take. You need a bunch of manpower to build cities, and cities allow the transportation of goods, of produce. Most of the people are eating food. Like, bro, that's even not correct. Food... Who... Bro, that's not correct. Bro. No, that is, that is correct. That's not correct. Listen, number one, we don't even have to eat. Why I left carbonation was... I think carbonation was just a little bit too extreme for me. Um, the knowledge resonates with me. He and my I'm a troll. Try, try. Um, yeah, so I just had a topic I wanted to discuss or debate on, but I didn't want it to get aggressive or anything. But I wanted to express an idea I had. For those okay. of you that don't know, Mariah Lynn is a 21-year-old female that joined Carbonation earlier this year around February. She ended up staying for about a week and decided that it wasn't for her and returned home. Well, this past Wednesday night, apparently she was at home with her mother and had an argument with her. Now, during that argument, her mother struck her in the head and then Mariah proceeded to stab her mother in the chest with a knife she had in her hand during the confrontation. I want people to know that I'm an honest person and that I'm being straightforward. It's, I'm not hiding nothing. So there's no one, no one can expose anything about me from my past and depict me to be who they want me to be. They can only depict at this time because I've exposed myself. We're moving forward now. I'm a whole other person before you, but people are still trying to depict me to be somebody that I used to be. When you can clearly see I'm someone that overcame all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that no more. I'm right. still sexual. I'm still a freak. Yes, that will always be a part of me. So right. like, okay, I ain't never going to be like, I ain't never going to let you think that I ain't no freak. I love sex. You feel me? Right. Like, I, I'm not going to be ashamed about my sexualities. I'm still... I still, I'm still attracted to like transsexuals. I can't sit here and lie to you about that because I, I still am. It's just a weird thing. And, but I don't, I don't find that. That's my lower self. I don't engage in that because that's not okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's not something. pursuit of my friendship do i not have that option to say hey friend this nigga just disrespected me and as a man who operates in masculine energy is there not a space for my protection as a black trans woman my protection to you would give you a different perspective of it so that you can move forward and not be so petty and get stuck on it so long it's things with people with how people well, see, feel about not you it has What's nothing that? to I'm do. Sorry, go you gonna cut me off? You gonna cut me no, off? No, actually, I was. How people feel about you? How people feel about you is none of your business. People perceive you through who they are. 
it, and, and as your friend, I will give you that perspective every time and say, let's go continue to get whatever we're getting and let's focus on ourselves. I came here to talk about you and focus on you rather than shit that doesn't matter. Peace. What's going on? I, I just have a question, whatever. Because my cousin told me about you, whatever. So I'm just like, let me, just, let me go on this live real quick. So, is homosexual allowed over there where you're at? Well, we don't call it, we don't really call it homosexual. We call it, we call it gatekeeper. And in indigenous times, in indigenous times, it wasn't called homosexuality. It was called two-spirited or gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. Understand? And it was something that was very, um, it was something that was sacred. It was something that meant something to us. It wasn't bastardized. So we have two, two gatekeepers here already. We don't believe that no one is totally, or what they call homosexual. So we have two, two gatekeepers here already. All right, so disease is really all in your gut. It's what you eat. All right, peep game, right? So this is really all in your gut. It's what you eat. All right, peep game, right? Did you know? All right, I'm listening. Did you know, did you know that food was more than what you put in your mouth? Number one, most of, most most of diseases come from diet. All right, let's okay. just put it out there. Most of your immune system is in your gut. Okay, your digestive system. Which, which produces your blood, which comes from your lymph node system, right? So your lymph node system okay. produces your blood, which is in your white blood cells, which is your immune system. So most of that is in your gut. So what you eat predominantly affects your health, okay? That affects your immune system, okay? Now, yo, hold on, hold on. So, but there's people literally dying from from having sex with people who have HIV and AIDS. So how did they get that? Through? I mean, because there's people that get it through sexually transmitted diseases, my dude. Right. It makes no sense. Okay, so, and that's where the government got your mind. That's, oh, you, go you're going to get somebody killed. You're going to get somebody killed. Okay, either that I'm going to get somebody killed or you're going to continue to get somebody killed because it's, it's something that's a psychological warfare and it's something that you have to educate yourself upon you allowing the system that doesn't give a shit about you to wipe you out, especially our people. Our people, our, it, we die because of our ignorance, not because of no fucking STD. We're not dying of an STD. We're dying because of our lack of understanding of our own goddamn health. So you can, you can continue to perpetuate ignorance to our people, or we can educate our people on their immune system. We can educate people or our people on how the fuck they're trying to... Uh, control our, our ability to reproduce as a people to slow our population down. Go ahead, brother. I see what you do. I see what you do. You you mix you mix a little truth with a little bit of your little your little ideology. I didn't hear you. You mix a little what? You speak a little bit of truth and then and then and then you, you kind of mix it up with a little bit of okay, your, you your, your your okay, ideology. That's just subjective thinking right there. I'm speaking facts to you. I'm telling you facts. You could say anything you want to say. You could brush it up the way you the way you want to perceive it. That's on you. I'm telling you the truth. So how did Mama Dia die? So how did Mama Dia die? die? Mama Dia died because she had heart surgery. When I tell you this, Mama Dia had a bad heart. She had a bad heart. It'd be different if you seen people around here dropping dead, but you don't see people around here dropping dead. That was that was a special case, and so therefore you need that that that's number one. Number one, you don't know what happened. Number one. <laughs> number two. You, you got her killed. You, you, you killed her. Okay. So you killed her. You, you a roach. That's what you is. You was a roach. You how? How, how, how am I a roach? Are you a vegan? I didn't come on here to be a roach. Are you vegan? Am I vegan? Yeah. I'm very much vegan, my dude. Very much vegan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You know how I know you're not vegan? <laughs> because you repeated the question. Uh -huh. You repeated the question before you answered it. 
which is a clear indication psychologically that you just lied. But I hope you do become a vegan. But if a woman comes here that's... I am a vegan. If, if a woman comes here that's 50, almost 60 years old, and she had a heart condition for 30 years, she stopped taking her medicine and starts to try to live a, a healthy life. But the doctors had did heart surgery on her before, and the lady had been in and out of the hospital her whole life for her heart, and her heart goes bad while she's here. That's not my fault. Hey, look. I shouldn't be... Hey, look. Shouldn't be, I'm going to just... I'm a, I'm, hey, look. I'm going to just say one more thing, and then I'm out. Hey, hey, look. I'm going to say... All right, Mr. Bubblegum. Bubblegum, bye. Yeah, my, my half kids would, would, would meet with one another and, and keep the bloodline.